This is Twit. I just got 25H2 and already we're talking 26H1? What? Yeah, but you're not going to get that. <laughs> oh, good. I so guess. I've yeah, been hearing good. rumors about this for a little while now tied to Snapdragon X2 and the first half of next year. And I don't know what this is going to entail. But if you think about what they did with 24H2, there was really a 24H1 as well, right? They called it 24H2, but then they didn't deliver it to everyone else until the end of the year. So they're doing it again, um, but for the X2. So Yeah. And I, I see this as uh, you are. This is... The, the teams are different, even though they're trying to build the same goal. And so it made, as soon as you say this out loud, I'm like, yeah, of course they are. So they all do they like, like they alternate like, OK, team A, team B, team A, team B or. No, I think it's more um, they're still there's a there's an arm team that's specializing in the arm issues and taking advantage of the new chipset. Ah, and so, so this is an arm only release. Right. Uh, or at least it'll specifically be, it'll be X, X2 only release. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. That's the new uh, Snapdragon you saw yeah. in Hawaii, right? Yeah. 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 That's so, cool. Yeah. We don't know what that entails, but uh, the name has since uh, popped up in the release notes for one of the Windows updates that Microsoft screwed up last week. And then the dev channel uh, or the Insider program announced that they are um, moving. They didn't, they didn't say 26H1, right? But they're moving the dev channel to a new build stream or whatever build tree build branch i don't know whatever it is um beta will soon be moving over to 25h2 testing right now it's on 24h2 so it's clearly going to be 26h1 i mean it's just what else would it be yeah i mean it, that's it right so well, it could be slow on it. it'll be 26h2 but yeah you don't I mean, know it, when this machine's going to ship you know like right, last time right. it was june like this is barely in the window anyway yeah but the fact that look the, the name could change but the fact that they've been calling it 26 h1 gives us a little bit of a hint it's probably the first half yeah. of the year I mean, which june is the first you would, half you would hope um yeah i would hope for january i wanted it for november i don't yeah. i don't know what's I, taking dude so i'm ready to replace this machine in a second uh, yeah. I, I, but i'll only for an x2 what do we think will it be better battery life faster processing what's what's going to be the What's the pitch? Um, yeah, or it's I mean, just it's, one better. It, it, it's one. <laughs> it is one better. I mean, the, no, the, it benchmarks much better uh, across the board. Graphics are better. CPU is better. MPU is double. I think two. Oh, X, nice. If I remember, so correctly. they're really focusing on the uh, AI. Well, they're focusing just across the board. I mean, they, they. I don't know what made them focus on this for V1, honestly, um, but. This, but this was the first time they were trying to build a CPU straight up, right? Like at that scale for, for PCs. For I mean, PCs, they'd be, yeah. They'd be well, what do you mean the X1 was not? No, or X, no the X1 was he, their he first the attempt. So now they're making up for everything they, they had to cut to get it there. I think they nailed the basic experience across the board pretty well. But yeah, I mean, there's always improvements. Yeah, I, the X seemed to be a leap forward for, for Qualcomm. Yeah. It's a leap forward for the industry. It's um, yeah. dramatically more reliable um, than any x86 chip. It, the performance is incredible, even on the lowest end version, which, by the way, I'm running on this thing here right now. Um, you know, three monitors, uh, <laughs> external webcam, uh, US, or Thunderbolt 4 dock, no problem. Yeah. We should. So that's because it's a system on a chip. So it's not just a CPU. Yeah. So yeah. those extra capabilities, like the three monitors, that's really a, a dis discrete display adapter that's built into the SOC. That's true. Yeah. Well, it, what they're doing is finally catching up to what Apple figured out years ago with the M series. <laughs> Ironically, Apple uh, three, three monitors were not available on many <laughs> Apple devices. Well, right. But they, I mean, they got there in time and, and uh, no, the, um, one of the other big things with this uh, chipset is that there's an extreme version that I might be called ultra ultra extreme that you can actually have, um, the RAM, like right now, the, the bus the width gen, is, high, is wider. It's a 192 bit bus. Yeah, but you can right? even have it on the die. Like, so that will actually dramatically improve the performance as well. So this will be more expensive, obviously. But then you get into that situation where this will never be upgradable, obviously, because it's on the die. But uh, it's Apple's in the same boat. It's unified memory. Yeah. 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 That means because, it's faster. Well, also because the vast majority of machines never do get their memory right. upgraded, and every right. machine will be faster. Like, right. it kind of makes sense to do the what the majority case will be. Should I, if I'm thinking of buying a PC, wait for the uh, X2? It's definitely what um, I'm doing. I, yeah. 
Yeah, maybe. I mean, how long am I going to be waiting? It's going to be six months, I think. Okay. And that Some, will be then sometime next one. year. Yeah. yeah. Sometime, hopefully first half of next year. I, I, yeah. It will probably mirror what they did last year, but. It's a year apart. That makes I'd sense. Like it to, it's two, two years, years apart. Two <laughs> that's years. The, that's the oh, problem. Yeah. That's the issue. Yeah. They missed okay. all of this year. Yeah. Um, but if well, they're going to do what they did last year, it means they announce a build, which will probably be sometime in May, April or May, May yeah. ship for June. And yep. I, just, I know. would like it to be earlier than that, but maybe we'll see. Okay. Okay. Earlier the better, but okay. They, they, I mean, there's some subtle changes. They like the the two different kinds of cores in X2. Like they're definitely doing some thinking about the way to improve performance in a single die. Like it is interesting what they're doing here. Yeah, and if I get 26 H1 on an, a, a Snapdragon X, it'll run, right? I mean, it's not. Well, we don't know how that's going to work. But last yeah. year, in the in, through the Insider program, you could get 24 H2 starting in I think it was May on any PC, including x86 PC. So you could do that if you wanted. And okay, we can only speculate right now about features and whatever. I, I there's a pretty good chance this will just be the same exact features we see across 24 and 25 H2 yeah. as well. Um, there may be some X2 Copilot plus PC specific. Does Microsoft features. still use HAL to the hardware? No, that died layer? in 2000. Well, but, uh, well, I mean, <laughs> I mean the, the NT HAL did, but I mean. old, old fashioned but, I am. Yeah. Well, but the idea was you abstract the hardware away from the operating system so that it can no, but that's still, a variety of platforms. I mean, that's still, that's how all sort of systems there. work, right? I mean, it's. Yeah. 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 Well, yes and no. I mean, Apple's abandoning yeah. Intel now at the next version of the apple os will no longer yeah but they were only able to do that because they had their version of a hal and they were running arm yeah they had rosetta too so like yeah, yeah, yeah. you know they i look Which for all we know apple's working on risk five right now so on the day that snapdragon finally catches up right. we're gonna be like hey we're switching architectures right. again you know we'll see but well next year i'm gonna probably buy an m6 <clears throat> six right? well, yeah. yeah yeah maybe it'll be next sometime it'll be the fall of next oh, year late next year they're saying yeah yeah. Uh, I don't know. Have people actually got their M5s in their hands yet? I haven't actually seen real. Yeah, the M5 shipped, the, yeah. but just so the we, M5 it's base like model. The nothing. Every oh. Apple processor upgrade. It's like massive benchmark advantages and exactly the same in real world. Like, yeah. You know? uh, and that's, uh, there's, I always wait for the, the actual Max benchmarks because you, yeah. you, you know, it doesn't matter what the paper says. Right. Right. Yeah. No, it's that looks good. Anyway. Yeah, a lot. I mean, these machines are kind of overbuilt. Apple, actually, the big story about Apple this week is that they're going to start selling that cheap yeah, version which, based on the iPhone 16 process. <clears throat> yeah. Well, and actually, you, how many people are buying a new machine because they want a faster processor? Really? Right. Yeah, right. This is, you can buy an M1 MacBook Air now at Walmart. Yeah, Apple's selling for five ninety nine. dollars <laughs> Well, but you shouldn't. No, you Mac, shouldn't. The Mac you Break just, Weekly guy said, yeah, you, you could absolutely Yeah, but could. those people are idiots, and I'm going to say they're wrong. <laughs> it is no, only 8 gigs of RAM. It's for, that's why. It's for do, very, do, not, do not ever buy any computer yeah. today with only 8 gigs of RAM. That's yeah. ridiculous. It's for very low-end users. Yeah, this will replace that, obviously, and it will be more broadly available. It's probably going to be great, honestly. Those chips are fantastic. Yeah. I mean, I'm, yeah. that's the. I think that's Apple's point is we got a lot of overhead, yeah. a lot of headroom rather, and and yeah. we we can. It's interesting. Sell older yeah, chip. they typically keep one of the or one or more older versions of things in the market as a, you know, the lower end alternative or whatever. Um, and then so having something that's made specifically, you know, for that, it's probably the mainstream majority of the markets is casual users, right? I mean, it's, yeah, I think it's fine. Most people in general on Windows or Mac are using it as a browser. Yeah. yeah. Maybe getting some email, but even then they're still using the browser to get the email. So I, that's yeah, why Mark Andreessen are, got it right in 1995 or six, or whatever yeah. year that was. It's a Browsers poorly written system. pile of device drivers running a browser. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever he said, something like that. Um, yeah, that sounds, that sounds like Windows. Like Mark. <laughs> also ClipChamp and uh, Copilot now. But yeah, yeah pretty much. Uh, yeah. Actually, both of those are web apps. Well, Hilarious. Anyway. Um, yeah. yeah, look what they're trying to do with AI is make it agentic browsers. It's all going to be browser based. That's the, you know. Now, right. if you, well, yeah, if you care about the cloud, like the same time we have this huge push towards doing as much as on prem as possible, right? We also have the DGX devices. Like, by the way, people are a little disappointed with the DGX. Yeah, well, because you, you're, you're jumping back to GPT three, and you've forgotten three yeah. years ago how yeah. basic that was yeah. compared to what's going on right now. Yeah, the DGX is not all that, and it's yeah. four thousand dollars. Yeah. 
So I'm glad I didn't buy one. I wasn't going to, but I'm glad I didn't. Yeah. All right. So that's very exciting. Uh, we're already in 2026. It, and that's not, you know, that's, yeah. I mean, that's what happens. Right. We're doing the model the car thing. It's fine. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Um, but and I, I would expect that we, outside of the arm space, we'll be getting all of the same features, but they'll call it a 25 H2 or, you know, something like that. Oh, interesting. It'll, okay. You know. Yeah. But I, but this is a, this is to me, this is totally the team dynamics. The, there's an arm team focus on dealing with Snapdragon issues to build out features. Some new things are going to appear from them and the other teams will see that and adopt them if they think it makes sense. And, mm -hmm. but both teams are contributing to a split code base for a time. And then there will eventually yeah. be a synchronization. It'll be a common version because they don't want more than one. But with these early days of arm on windows being so important to the mm -hmm. company, actually. Of course, they would put together a, a team specialized on making sure the ARM implementation goes extremely well. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this little highlight from a much better show <laughs> and longer, too, called Windows Weekly. The whole link to the show is right below me. And of course, we stream live right here every Wednesday. You can watch us do our thing or download it here or in your favorite podcast player. Uh, best thing to do, what do they say? Uh, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs>